Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and today we will discuss about paints. So in most of the interviews, while in mostly in paint industry interviews, they generally ask what is the composition or what are the components in paints. Also one must always know that how paints are formed, just as a general knowledge or sometimes some understanding about the chemical engineering components. So here we have paint. So quickly we will discuss about what are the components and how are they related and how, what happens during paint uh, application on walls or other stuff. So for now, as you can see, we have paints classified into four, four units, four components and one thing is added extra to the paint during application. So when you are about to apply the paint on to walls or on some steel or any other material then dryer is used as an extra thing to accelerate the paint application so first paint component is base base is as we know is like a binder so it sticks so this base will help us to stick to this wall or something that over which we want to paint base will stick to it otherwise the paint would get removed easily so this ba base or binder will help in sticking so this is generally made up of white lead or white titanium oxides or iron oxides etc moving on to next component is pigment pigment adds color like we have different colors of paints so like from indian red so copper sulfate various colors giving pigments so pigment is just for color next we have solvent also known as thinner so what does the solvent do it evaporates so it particularly mixes the paint uniformly and while applying it evaporates it's a volatile material volatile means that has a very low boiling point it evaporates so generally examples are turpentine naphtha etc solvent evaporates paint gets dried up on the surface where we want to paint and hence paint is applied so let's recall what we have seen base attaches to the surface pigment provides color solvent evaporates like this is evaporating solvent so that this paint is set and next we have vehicle vehicle now to all uh, to actually combine all these three components we have something that interlinks between them so that is vehicle it moves as the name suggests vehicle means move so it mixes and holds the suspension so it holds the whole suspension and mixes it throughout I've drawn this for just understanding but actually this vehicle is actually flowing from base to solvent and all over this place while solvent slowly evaporates. Finally the vehicle is actually linseed oil or tongue oil or nut oil. So these are the examples. Lastly dryer is applied. So this is our paintbrush. We apply dryer during the application of paint on the surface. So as the name suggests it dries out the solvent fast and hence it is generally made up of lead, manganese and cobalt. It actually reacts with oxygen because we have here oxygen. It absorbs oxygen and provides to the vehicle so it helps to provide the solvent a particular heat so that the solvent vaporizes. Hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.